What up, y'all? I remember in a in a past video, I was gonna give you a, a document from uh, from Congress about how uh, the IRS cannot levy private citizens. So here we go, right here. This is back in 1985 by Congressman Dennis M. Hertel. Um, I guess somebody wrote them about levying uh, uh, or placing a levy on a private citizen. So here we go. Regarding your recent contact with my office on the difficulties you are experiencing with the Internal Revenue Service, it is the policy of our office not to give legal advice and suggest that you seek counsel with tax expertise. We can address your specific question relative to IRS Form 668W, Notice of Levy on Wages, Section 6331 IRC entitled Levy and Distraint, and Section 6331A IRC entitled Authority and Secretary, Authority of Secretary, Levy may be made upon the accrued salary or wages of any officer, employee, or elected official of the United States, District of Columbia, or any agency or instrumentality of the United States or District of Columbia by serving notice of levy on the employee of such officer, employee, or elected official does not provide authority to levy wages of private citizens in the private sector. The omission of this section from the IRS Form 668 may be misleading to some employers as you have suggested. Uh, I hope that you will find this information useful. I regret that I'm unable to provide you with more assistance. Please feel free to contact me again if you have questions or comments regarding your federal government. Uh, here's something from 2007. Dear Mr. Thank you for contacting me with the, uh, who is this from, first of all? The Committee on the, Judi on the Judiciary. Uh, this one doesn't have a name on it. Consumer Credit. Okay, it looks like it's uh, redacted, so. Thank you for contacting me with a question regarding your troubles with the Internal Revenue Service while well, responding as best as I can. Please understand, I am not giving any legal advice. I would strongly advise you to seek legal counsel on this matter. U.S. Code, Title 26, Subtitle F, Chapter 64, Subchapter D, Part 2, Section 661A states, If a person liable to pay taxes, remember what the word person means, liable to pay taxes, liable to pay any tax neglects or refuses to pay within 10 days after notice and demand it will be lawful for the secretary to collect such tax and such further sum as shall be provision to cover the expenses of the levy by levy upon all property and rights to property except such property as is exempt under section 6334 belonging to such person or uh, not a private citizen or a human being as such person or on which there is a lien provided in this chapter for the payment of such tax. Levy may be made upon the accrued salaries or wages of any office, employee, or elected official of the United States. So are you in any office? Are you an employee or elected official of the United States, the District of Columbia, or any agency or instrumentality of the United States, or the District of Columbia, by serving a notice of levy on the employer? But you're not an employee of the United States. So you need to rebut that, right? Because if you get a social security number, you're considered a, a federal employee, a public trust employee, a trustee. So as defined uh, uh, by serving a notice of levy on the employer as defined in section 3401D of such officer, employee, or elected official of the United States or District of Columbia. If the secretary makes a finding that the collection of such tax is in jeopardy, 
Notice and demand of immediate, of immediate payment of such tax may be made by the secretary and upon the failure or refusal, or refusal to pay tax. Collection thereof by levy shall be lawful without regard to the 10-day period provided in this section. This particular, this particular provision does not appear to extend to private sector employees. If a form was given to an employer that omitted Section A, this form could be considered misleading. I hope this is helpful to you. Again, you may wish to seek help from an attorney or tax professional. They're telling you right there. It's not, you, the prof, I mean, private citizens cannot be levied because you're not a federal employee and therefore the statutes don't apply to you as a private fucking sovereign. So they could talk all this shit that they want in the courtroom about all sovereign citizens. Ha ha ha. But if a fucking congressman is telling you that you're a private citizen, it doesn't. That shit don't apply to you. All right? And I ain't fucking around. We'll read one last one from 2005. Uh, this one's a little blurry, but uh, it came from Gary Fernow. He's brave enough to put his name out there. So, you know, peace to Gary Fennell. Is that Fennell? Or Fen I think it's Fennell. Yeah. Yeah, two N's. So thank you for contacting me with a question regarding your troubles with the Internal Revenue Service. Uh, while responding as best as I can, please understand that I'm not giving any legal advice. I would strongly advise you seek counsel in this matter. You know, most congressmen are lawyers, so they kind of know what they say. This one's basically stating the same statute, 6, 6331A, 6331A. So we don't need to read this again this particular preservation does not appear to extend to private sector employees <laughs> and this is the same shit with child support so uh i can't give you all this document <laughs> unfortunately I, I can't give it to you uh, this is given to me by a very close friend of mine that's uh, been studying this shit for at least 30 years. Um, dear friend of mine, so I can't give it to you. But I just want to let you know that if you're, if the IRS is trying to levy you, that's some bullshit. You need to rebut the presumption. And also, if child support is trying to levy you, child support only has jurisdiction also over public entities or federal employees they can't go into the private sector and and levy your wages unless you contract with them or you don't rebut the presumption under status law and status status motherfucking law let's look up status law and then i'm gonna end the video but look status law Let's, let's look at this. Because you need to have a status before they'll even recognize you, right? So identity person, right? Legal status is a position held by something or someone with regard to law. It is a set of rights, obligations, powers, or restrictions that a person, you know what a person is, it's not a human being, or a th or thing has which are encompassed in or declared by legislation. So legislation also declared you to be an obligor. You don't want to be an obligor. Um, if you guys want to read this further, that's fine. But it's letting you know you had a certain amount of rights. If you're a man, remember like, like the Amen said, if you're a man, you have rights by God. If you're an obligor, then you have obligations. And as a man, you have power from God. Or if you're getting your if you're getting your privileges through man, you have restrictions. Alright? This is I am Hotep. I'm out. Uh, the new site, Golden Moors, uh, goldenmoorservices.com.
where you guys can post reviews on attorneys or either advocates on YouTube about you know how good they're doing, helping you with your case. Uh, we're only here for the people. That's it. Uh, we're sovereign. Uh, even though I'm a New Army at war, I'm with the sovereigns and in America because they're the only people trying to enforce the Constitution. Uh, American Moors, I know, enforce the Constitution from the Prophet Noble Jew Ali. Uh, if you're not trying to enforce the Constitution, don't fucking call me. Don't listen to my videos. Matter of fact, you can kiss my Moorish ass if you're not trying to learn the law and enforce the Constitution. I can't help you. I can't fucking help you. Um, you know, I don't, I don't fucking entertain the ignorant and I ingratiate myself with those who form think tanks, who have study groups, who go to the law library, who try to interpret law for themselves and also interpret scripture for themselves. So we're not fucking around over here. Um, if you're not trying to get free, we can't help you. And we're not some, you know, we're not trying to rip off the people in charge like fucking like $4,000. <laughs> some of you stupid motherfuckers is paying people $4,000 to get you off of child support. That's ridiculous, man. <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous, man. Attorneys don't even charge that much. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? You're paying four thousand dollars for somebody who's not even a professional to get you out of child support? You got to be one of the stupidest motherfuckers on the planet. Our men don't even charge that much. And he's the god of this shit. Come on now, you motherfuckers that desperate and dumb. I'm here to reach men. You know what I'm saying? And there's some women, too. I've gotten calls from some women, too, who are on child support. But by far, the majority is men. And you need to fucking man up. You need to, fuck, you need to man up. And stop paying all this ridiculous money to get out of child support. Save your money and go to the law library and look up some shit. Because that's worth more than money. The knowledge is worth more than the money. Because you pay the money to get the knowledge. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm straight out the West Coast. I'm in California. But the money ain't nothing compared to the knowledge and the information. See, I'm sort of like an information broker. I broker information. Some information that I got, you can't pay for. I'm just not going to give it up. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, pe certain people have given it to me, certain individ individuals have given it to me, and it's not for public use. It's not it for public use at all. So, but the shit that I can help you with, I'll be more, more than forthright in coming with that information. So, you guys need to decide what you're going to do with your life. Um, this child support shit will test you as, as in other shit, think of a motherfucker serving life and trying to get free. I mean, child support ain't that bad, but it's pretty bad. It's, it's, it's pretty bad. I mean, it ain't like serving life, you know, especially if you're wrongfully accused of serving life, and wrongfully accused of a crime and serving life. But child support ain't that bad, but it's pretty bad. Because you, you, you're still able to be free. Well, free as in free of re physical restraint. Not free as in sovereign. So if they call me a sovereign citizen, I don't mind. At least they recognize that I'm fucking sovereign. <laughs> I'd rather you recognize me as a sovereign than being a goddamn slave. Okay? So call me sovereign citizen all motherfucking day long this don't call me a fucking slave okay and that's the point i'm trying to get across to you guys yes we are sovereign and i'll make a video once i find the supreme court case i can't, I can't find it out but there's many supreme court case citations 
stating that the people are sovereign. <laughs> it's not it's not a big secret and want to prove it in court. Oh, okay, here's a Supreme Court case citation that says the people are sovereign. Okay, then they can't they can't act like uh uh that you got no precedent in court. They can't act like you don't have a position of authority in court. Right? And I'm gonna show that to you guys. And you guys, I suggest that you use that case law in court. Alright? So I this is a uh, I am Hotep Jed Mutalib Atim L and uh I'll catch y'all later, man. Peace to the God.